Here comes the 16-time world champion. Uh, not just the 16-time world champion, a Hollywood phenomenon, and a man who embodies the meaning of superstar. The following contest is a Hell in a Cell match and is for the WWE Championship. Making his way to the ring from West Newberry, Massachusetts, weighing in at 251 pounds, John Cena. John Cena is a man who's always practiced what he preached. He embodies never give up and hustle, loyalty, respect. Now, even his detractors have to admit Cena's dedication. He never gives anything less than his very best. From where I'm sitting, he is the greatest WWE superstar in history. Cena is a superstar in every sense of the word. In fact, he was referred to by Mr. McMahon as the Babe Ruth of WWE. Now, Cena is a guy who achieved success beyond anybody's wildest imagination. The most lethal superstar in the history of WWE, the Apex Predator. And his opponent, representing R.K. Rose from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 250 pounds, the Viper. Pressed to find a more sadistic superstar than Randy Orton. This is a superstar who will do whatever it takes to win. Hey, listen, he's called the Apex Predator because he has this undeniable killer instinct. And the results, well, they speak for themselves. Yeah, simple advice. Don't cross the Viper. Social media is buzzing, as it always is, when this title is defended. It's easy to become focused solely on the demonic structure in Hell in a Cell, but there are other considerations to think about too, Corey. You're right, Michael. It's not nailed down. It can be used as a weapon here. The stairs, every corner of the cell, anything. So whoever can utilize weapons more effectively is going to have a big advantage. Well, not to mention all the times we've seen superstars launch themselves from the top of the cell 20 feet in the air. And we know from history only bad, bad things happen on top of Hell in a Cell. Cranking the head. Tossed into the corner. Wicked clothesline. Right in the mouth. Oh, Relentless. Oh, enough already. As we all know, Hell in a Cell matches tend to deteriorate once the competitors leave the confines of the ring. He's outside the ring now. Hope he's got a plan. Oh my gosh, what impact. He's looking a little off balance. No one is fully prepared for Hell in a Cell. He better brace for more. Boom. Well, that's one way to get through the wall. You can't open the door. Make yourself a window. Boom! Oh, jarring uppercut. He's making the climb. The climb to what? Oh, if you ask me, this doesn't seem like the brightest of ideas. Yeah, that's great, Corey. You're right. And he's finally hit the 
repeat. And guys, if history is any indication, here's where things get really interesting. That's certainly one way to put it. No, 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 no that will break his arm. Vicious. And with every step up there, the amount of fear on these superstars increases. The top of the cell is like walking through a minefield. Is there a special secret to winning a Hell in a Cell match? You have to be willing to leave your humanity behind. Become the most vicious possible version of yourself because that's what it takes to win inside Hell in a Cell. Everyone in this building is just waiting on bated breath. We've all seen life-altering moments come from the top of that cell. Rear chin lock, and now just rapid fire punches. Do you hear the WWE Universe? They are ravenous for these gladiators who are putting life and limb on the line right now. Mention a good time. Absolutely planet. I guess by doing that. Impressive. Nice counter by Cena. Got the full Nelson. Right through the top. Crushing impact off the cell. Someone get in there and check on him. There's no way this can continue. Shoulders down. Championship on the line. He breaks the ref's count before two. I can't believe it. He just won't go away. There's Cena. Attitude adjustment. Does Cena put this one away? He's doing some dangerous redecorating. I think the table really ties it all together. Just like that, Cena gets intercepted. Viper has him hooked. Explorer suplex. Now a pin for the championship. And the count stops short of two. Right now, I just don't know what it's going to take. As we all know, Hell in a Cell matches tend to deteriorate once the competitors leave the confines of the ring. Ooh! He'll take things into the ring. This could be bad. This, this could be really bad. Oh, the reversal by Cena. Vigilante driver! Looking for the victory! Two! He clearly wants to dish out more punishment, but why not get the pinfall first? Just punched him right in the mouth. Oh, Relentless. Gosh. Enough already. He went right into that turnbuckle. Up on the turnbuckle now. Uh-oh. This is not going to be nice. This is going to be nasty. It's all about winning, no matter what it takes. Superplex! Measured up, and boom! Drop. He catches Cena with a counter. So close line. What's Cena about to kill you up? Sitting, sit out, power bomb.
Oh, stomp it away. Measured up and post drop. Belly to belly. Vicious. Here's the pin title on the line. Go. He kicks out with force. It's hard to believe, but it looks like he still has some gas left in the tank. Cena turning things around. Solid contact from the Viper. Viper. Uh, we know what's coming next. Oh, boy, do we ever. Oh, he may be in a bad way here. Hell in a Cell is no joke, Michael, and they have done their best not to let this structure affect them too greatly. Countered it just in time. There's Cena. Yeah, and we had the distinct pleasure of having the best seats in the house, gentlemen.